successful reading is not just about being able to read printed words from the page. Successful reading is about reading those words and extracting meaning from those words. And in order to do that, we need to have a combination of phonological skills and a sound foundation of good oral language. What sound does a clock make? Milk. Milk. Good boy. Well done. Milk. Tick. 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 Talk, talk, fantastic. Oh, I can hear something. Ted. Somebody shouting help. Ted. We've got Ted. He's a little hand puppet that sits with us throughout the session and he sits watching the children, making sure that they're looking, listening. He's watching out for the best listener to see who gives the most answers and the children respond really well to him. I want you to tell me how you can get from home to school in the morning. The children had to take me on a story walk using the vocabulary from, last, from the last session to take me on a safe journey from home to school. If it was on red and we crossed, would that be really dangerous? dangerous? Yeah. Because what would happen? You what happens when the traffic lights are on oh. red? By doing that, we've used all the vocabulary that we've been working on, that we've taught them, and they've incorporated that into their story. Today's new vocabulary was about going on a journey, and it was the beginning of the journey. We, we showed them a story map that had a train track on it, and the vocabulary today was sell tickets, how much. Why would you, want, why would you go on a train? What do you think you might need to do? Pay. Pay? What do you need to pay for? Leah, to get on the train. To get on the train. And what would you get to see Ticket. that you could... Fantastic. For me, for the reception class, I think um, that was a great example of vocabulary teaching. Mm. I mean, what Sue did was introduce the words and then use them in lots of different contexts. She revised the words, she reinforced them, um, and she really tried to encourage a deep understanding. We made a ticket office for role play, and so they had to go using the new vocabulary and ask for the ticket and how much is the ticket and then they had to decide where they wanted to go on the train. So London. Uh, £5. Pound. Can I have a ticket to go to London? And we were talking about pay, how you would pay. What do you have to do to get a ticket? You have to pay for the ticket. And when you've got the ticket, you've paid for it, so it's extending the vocabulary as well. When we went to our ticket office, to get our ticket. 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 It means we can what? Go on the train. Go <coughs> on the train. Can you think of anything else where we might need to buy a ticket? What if I wanted to go watch a e mm. film. film? The other thing for me was the listening. The use of the listening rules was great. So, you know, to reinforce those listening rules throughout the session kept going back to them when the children were getting a little bit distracted, but in a very gentle, encouraging way, which they clearly responded to very well. Sit down. Abby, Ted's watching, so he says, sit on your bottom and watch. We started to construct the book using the vocabulary to put a book together, but because we were just at the beginning of constructing this book, we had to decide on a picture for the front page of the book and plus we had to decide on a title for the book as well. Why do we Can have front covers on books? So you know what they're about. So what's our book going to be about? A uh, journey. 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 journey on a train. Our train journey. Well, when we get to the end of the session, we t I sit and we recap on what we've done. And that's all part of narrative, building a story. When we first came in, what did we do at the beginning of the session? What did we do next? And it's giving it order. What did we do in the middle? And what did we end with? We need to just tell Ted we went on our... Journey. Yeah, we did our train journey on the board. But then what did we go to do? What did we do next? We made a book. Book. A book. Didn't what was our book about? Train. train. A train what? Just a train? Train journey. A train journey, wasn't it? What happens in the train station? What you was have happening in your money. picture? You have to you have to pay, don't you, for a tick. Tick. For a ticket. And what does the person who's got the tickets do? They 
sell. No. They sell you the ticket, don't they? Okay. What do you need to pay? pay. What do you pay with? Money. 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 That's right. Ticket. Ticket. And a ticket.